Hey guys, it's me Liv. I hope everyone is doing good out there. Today I am going to be creating a tunnel card using this stamp set called Fall Gnomes. It is created by Not Too Shabby Shop and this is my design team video for this month of October. So I'm going to be making a tunnel card. I'm going to be doing some basic coloring. Now I'm going to be cutting them all out so this is why you're going to see that I do an assortment of stamps on here because they are, are going to be fussy cut it out. So after I've gone ahead and stamped them out I'm going to be going ahead and coloring them up. I will fast forward the coloring because the focus isn't really on the coloring. I just want to show you how the card all comes together. So here I am going to just use my Copics to go ahead and get this coloring started. Since I am keeping this more in the fallish colors, you're going to see me use an assortment of oranges, browns, yellows, and some greens in here, and a touch of red here. Now the red that I'm using is more on the orangey side than it is a uh, deep red, uh, but I thought it would go really well with this. And so I've gone ahead and colored them out. Now I did show one of the gnomes that I colored because so you can see how I colored it, but the other one is the same as that color pattern, except I made a gray beard instead of a brown beard that you're going to see showing up. After I've got that, I decided fussy cutting would be the easiest way to get this mounted and get this onto the card. Now the stamp set that I'm using is an original that's created for the Not Too Shabby Shop that is carried in the store. Not only does she carry some fantastic other company lines, she has her own stamp line that she uses. And there are some really adorable sets. So please go sure to uh, check out those sets. Um, you will see that I have a code below for a discount for anyone who likes to use it. So just follow that link and you can get 10% off on your shopping. But anyway, let me get back to what I was doing here. So what I did is took a piece of paper. This is four and a half by 11. I scored it at the half inch mark the five and a half inch mark and then again at the six mark and then I'm going to go ahead and um, use my bone folder to get nice lines there and then I'm going to take out my other piece which is a slightly smaller than four and one half by five and a half I'm sorry four and one fourth by five and a half just the a2 size I took maybe a sliver off of each side and then scored it at the um, one fourth score line um, did it on the five and a half side wet. So then I'm going to go ahead and connect these over. I'm going to go use score tape. Uh, you can use whatever you want. Now when you're doing a tunneling card, what I did was to take a larger circle for the outside and then I am using a smaller circle for the inside. And I first cut out the bigger circle. Then I'm going to go back and match up my circles and then cut out the small circle. Then because the actual full back of the card will show if you want to put some type of uh, scene or embossing or stamping or whatever you want you can go ahead and do that uh, I'm using my distress inks with this hero art stencil that I have in my stash just to make a super quick forest type theme here um, I used I believe a ground espresso and forest moss here uh, but again, this is not the focus of my project. I just wanted to show through a little bit. Now that I have that, I'm going to go ahead and put some scored tape along the one fourth line for the interior part uh, and then go ahead and put it down. Now, when you're placing it against the edge, you want to make sure you're using the score line, not the top score line, but the bottom score line, for lack of a better term, uh, to get them attached to the card base. Um, and then you can go ahead and put that one down. It's super simple, just fold it over. And then you're gonna do the same thing with the other side on to the top so that it can hold. Uh, I find that using score tape is a little tricky for me. It's why I actually do prefer liquid glue. Uh, because it like, takes forever for me to get off. I don't know if anyone has any tips, no matter how much I go ahead and uh, pull down my bone folder. That's always a tricky part for me. But anyway, so now that I pretty much have my card base all set up, I'm going to go ahead and take all those pieces that I fussy cut off camera and start gluing them all down. So as you can see, I did have a little bit of a smudging on my back scene because I looked like my lineup didn't happen, but that's okay because I am going to go ahead and start placing all these characters down and you won't really notice and it looks more like a shadow effect. 
I'm just using some art glitter glue to go ahead and glue all these pieces down onto the card. And what's cool with the tunnel card is you want to go ahead and try to put them on all three levels, which is the in-between level, the back level, as well as the forward level so that it does give it the look of 3D and dimension to it. So I just did various um, gluing down of the images on the different areas. And then I took out one of the stamps and did the sentiment on front and then put a little of the pebble stones that she does have in the stamp set and figured it'd be a nice little touch um, just to brighten up the in exterior of the card. And so that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see everyone soon for my next Not Too Shabby Shop Design Team video. I'll see you guys soon. Have a great night.